Alrighty. You would introduce yourself to everybody. Hey folks, my name is Daniel Jeremiah Hoffman. I am a journalist and civil and human rights activist. I'm currently homeless. Actually trapped in a state of homelessness now. I uh, been unconstitutionally targeted for the last six years by multiple law enforcement agencies because I've been speaking out and defending the poor against our social programs, which are designed with a eugenic nature, um, which means they're shaking out people based on social barriers from society, trapping them in poverty, using our law enforcement to target them, to keep them there, um, and just rotating them through our criminal justice, mental and health, mental and behavioral health, and our healthcare system, which is expanding these bureaucracies um, based off of an unjustified mislabeling of the poor. They have no economic opportunity or freedom. We've destroyed the free market where we were, in a free market society, we allow artists and musicians and skilled tradesmen, regardless if they have an education, regardless if they have a criminal history, they can start their own businesses. They can sell their art and music and poetry to the world. But we don't have that anymore. We're labeling people and we're managing people and we're assigning people labor roles and we're perpetually managing people like cattle in poverty. So I've been speaking out and defending the rights of the poor. I testified in Oregon at the Oregon State Capitol in 2020. I've testified here in uh, uh, Nashville and I've been all over North America including Canada where I was seeking asylum under their Refugee Protection Act but operations continued there they illegally deported me April 5th after throwing me in a Saskatchewan prison and then secretly handing me off to US Customs and all they did was drop me off at a strange truck stop in Minot North Dakota where they tried to set me up and implicate me in drugs and criminal activity which has continued all the way down here to Nashville where I've been arrested twice, once by state law enforcement, which was a case of excessive force that left me hospitalized before being incarcerated, and another case on December 24th, Christmas, where MMPD uh, targeted me for a false arrest and performed an illegal search and seizure against me because I'm a journalist, they didn't have a right to search my belongings. I'm a pro se attorney, so I represent myself in court. I beat the criminal charges, but now Davidson County is blocking me from the e-file system, so I can't file motions and summons in a civil claim. Uh, that's kind of a 21st century Jim Crow tactic, and just another um, example of what they do to the poor. They don't value you as human beings. It doesn't matter your past professional experience, your credentials, your gifts, your talents, your abilities. You're labeled, and that's all you are to them, and they make sure that you are portrayed that way to the rest of the public. Here in Nashville, all of my resources are limited. I can't get clean clothes unless uh, they design it. I know it's a long video for you no, too, but uh, you're perfect. You know fine. the resources are limited on purpose. They want people looking unshaven and dirty because it turns the public away from exercising compassion and empathy. And those are very important parts of our brains. I mentioned that process here in my latest article. Uh, which is available on my website. You have to type the whole URL into a browser, not a search bar, because again, I'm targeted. They're not allowing my website to show up on search results. Um, so it's a direct link, um, as well as my articles. Um, and if you share it on social media, uh, it's unlikely that my view count will go up. They'll, re they'll redirect the links to all of your connections, so they can't, they're being redirected away from the actual content into a different website that they've pre-designed. Um, so it's frustrating, my right to uh, freedom of the press, uh, freedom of expression, freedom of religion are all being violated. My due process rights and courts are being violated. Um, and meanwhile, I'm forced to panhandle to survive. Now, I originally took a vow of poverty as a Catholic mendicant to defend the rights of the poor, but that doesn't mean I want to be trapped in a perpetual state of homelessness, which is currently my situation. Um, without a free market, without entrepreneurism, without pathways to economic freedom, we're completely dependent on the minimal amount of government programs which are designed to keep you trapped and held down in poverty. So I've been speaking out against this system that is a continuation of the slave system that we had in the South turned into this socialized type system that mislabels and perpetually manages people to expand their social agencies um, and law enforcement. And it's something that's happening all over the world. It's happening in Europe. It's happening in South Africa. It's happening in South America, where we are just creating a society that is a caste system again, that's ruining our democracy, that's not giving people the right to vote anymore. Um, they're disenfranchising people intentionally from not just the vote, but from each other. We're all human and brothers, humans, human sisters and brothers on this planet. And we should be 
uniting together rather than allowing them to divide us into these boxes of left versus right. There is no left versus right. There's only us and them, the people who are mislabeling us and controlling us and eroding our civil rights and liberties and dividing us by fanning the flames of our prejudice. So the less prejudice we have and the more love we have, the less control over us they'll have. So uh, I just encourage everybody to uh, speak up and speak out. If you don't exercise your rights, you're going to lose them. And it's going to become a totalitarian society soon. So um, no one wants that to happen. Um, they've already depopulated the Italians, the Catholic Irish, the Native Americans, the black community. We're all, all the minorities. We're all trapped in these cities um, where we're being directed for low labor and manual labor and service-related labor. Um, it's a dangerous thing that's happening. It already happened in Nazi Germany. 16 million people were murdered. Only 16 or 6 million of those were Jews. My father's Jewish. Only 6 million were Jews. The rest were people they just labeled defective and threw in the concentration camps and either forced into labor or murdered them. We're having the same thing happen in America. And it's not a right or left issue. It's not liberalism. It's not republicanism. It's Nazi socialism. And we all need to be vocalized against it and defend each other's rights and love each other and exercise our compassion and empathy because when we don't, we're causing a cognitive defect. We're literally becoming mentally impaired because we're not accessing the full development of our brain. And when we do that, it makes us ignorant. It makes us complacent and compliant to the system that is oppressing us. Whether we are comfortable slaves or first forced into indentured servitude, it's still slavery. And it's all using psychological manipulation to get us to willingly be obedient to it and turn against each other. So, um, again, my name is Daniel Jeremiah Hoffman. The website's U.S. Journalist, Nashville Edition. And I just love everyone out there on this YouTube channel, and I hope you share the content. God bless you.